you know, just chilling, eating some pizza, just scrolling through the internet like every normal teenager would. And I see this thing and it says breaking news. LeBron James to sign four-year, $154 million deal. I said, huh, that's interesting. With the Lakers. And I was like, holy crap. This is happening. Um, not going to lie, I'm very surprised. I knew LA was a contender. I knew LA was looking at him and LeBron was looking at them. I honestly didn't think it was going to happen. I thought he would need commitment from George or Kawhi, Paul George or Kawhi Leonard, to go there. And Paul George, when he said he was going to stay with Oklahoma City, I was like, all right, LeBron's rather go into Philadelphia or he's going to do a one-in-one -one with Cleveland where he does one year, stay there, and opt out again next year. And maybe him and Kevin Durant team, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. But he went to L.A. He's going to L.A. Four years, $154 million. It wasn't like his 2010 decision where he had a TV interview and said, I'm taking my talents to South Beach. It wasn't where he had a Sports Illustrated, where he bought out Sports Illustrated and said, I'm coming home. He was just like, Woj, go tweet. Go tweet that I'm going to the Lakers. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying I'm surprised. Because LA is a pretty big media place, and they make a big deal out of everything. And he went to Cleveland. They don't make a big deal out of anything. He went to Miami. They're Miami. They do their own thing. But... I'm shocked. I really am. I didn't think he was going to go there. I don't. I didn't think there was enough on that team to lure him in. I'm a little surprised. Because, you know, I think he knows something. I think something's going to go down and it's going to get Kawhi Leonard to the Lakers. And I think he knows it's going to happen. So what does this mean? For the Lakers, that's big. That's huge. Good job for them. That is huge for the Los Angeles Lakers. That means they are now gone from a 36-team win winning team to a playoff contender. So, and if they can get Kawhi as well, that would be humongous. That would be absolutely ginormous for their chances. Where does this put them right now? Golden State's still ahead of them, I think. If it's just LeBron. If it's just LeBron, Golden State's still ahead of him. Houston... Still ahead of them. I think there may be the three. The three. Because they're better than Oklahoma City. Because Oklahoma City, we saw last year, they, they were trash with the ISO ball. Unless Oklahoma City can prove me wrong and learn how to play as a team and play some basketball. Portland doesn't have enough firepower. Utah doesn't have enough firepower. Uh, the Clippers, they suck now. The Mavericks, they don't have enough firepower. No one has enough firepower to stop those three teams, even the Spurs, if the Spurs trade for Kawhi, trade Kawhi away, I don't think they're going to have enough power to stop th this team. The only two teams that can stop them are Golden State and Houston. Now, another question I have is why would LeBron go to the West? He's dominated the East. He's gone to, what, eight straight finals in the Eastern Conference? So I guess he's given himself a challenge in a sense that he has to beat another good team in his conference. But this is huge because the East is Boston, Philly now. And the West is now Golden State, Houston, Los Angeles Lakers. Unless another team like Oklahoma City can rise up. But this is big. This is really, really big. But I really do think that LeBron, LeBron James knows that something's going to happen. That the Lakers are going to make a move for Kawhi and they think they have it. Because I don't think LeBron would just go there with this team. With this team, I don't think he could. Because there's not enough on that team to convincingly tell LeBron, we're going to beat Golden State, we're going to beat the Rockets, and get to the finals to play Kyrie. I think that was a convincing factor that said, if you make it to the finals, you're likely to face Kyrie. And he's like, that would make a lot of media attention, I guess. But... To say that you're going to beat Golden State and beat Houston, that's a big statement. You're going to need more than Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma. Don't get me wrong. These are rising NBA stars. These are guys who are young and have talent and are improving their game. These are guys who are great basketball players and could be all-stars. Will be all-stars. They will be all-stars. And 
it's a talented team in the future. Right now, they're eh, just because they're young and they they don't have as much experience and as much skill. But as they grow and as they improve their game and as they improve their abilities, that's a scary team. But right now, I'd say, why are you doing this right now, LeBron? But as to that, um, if they do get Kawhi, they'd have to trade some of those young guys. But I think this means Ju- Julius Randle's gone. He's a restricted free agent because he's going to want more money. Unless he's willing to take a pay cut for a championship, I don't know. But this is big for the Lakers. This opens up a lot. Obviously, they're still in the talks for the Kawhi trade. What are they going to do with Julius Randle? What are they going to do with the Brook Lopez? Another big question, the Isaiah Th- Thomas-LeBron James experiment has already failed in Cleveland. What Are they going to try that again, or are they going to say, Isaiah Thomas, we're not offering you anything. you got to go sign somewhere else. So there are so many questions that rise up from LeBron saying, I'm going to play with the Lakers. I'm not staying in Cleveland. I'm not going to the Spurs, Philly, Houston. I'm not going to any of these teams. I'm going to the Los Angeles Lakers. I think it's a bit to prove himself. Because we've always talked about how he's in the East and how he dominates the weak East. I think he wants to go to the West and win a title from the West or win the Western Conference because the Western Conference is a tough conference with all the big names, big teams. I mean, if in the Western Conference, if he can take down the Golden State Warriors, he's the best player of all time. If he if he gets like Kawhi Leonard to Kyrie Irving, if he gets that, then it's like the. But if he just gets Kawhi there, and it's just him, Kawhi, and a bunch of young guys that are talented young guys, that might put him at the greatest of all time. So I think he's trying to get there, but I I'm just surprised honestly. I really am surprised on this decision. But congrats to the Los Angeles Lakers. This is big for them. They're great again. They're great again. They've had a rough few years. Um, I saw Joel Embiid's tweet that said this will always be Magic and Kobe's team. I do agree with that. But, you know, this is big. This is really big. And I'm surprised, but congratulations to the Lakers. They're going to be a tough team to beat next year. Uh, Oklahoma City's going to struggle against them probably. Golden State, they got a challenger. Houston's got a challenger. But it's going to be really interesting to watch next year. Definitely going to be paying. Everyone should pay close attention to that team just because of LeBron, obviously. But also the young talent on that team and Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma. That that could end up being a very scary team. So the, everyone needs to watch that team, definitely. But thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share all that stuff. And that Larson versus Bush video is happening tomorrow still. Um, but man, this is huge. Media blow up. Definitely media blow up. I think in like two minutes, Woj had 25,000 retweets and like 400,000 likes or something. Something crazy like that. But big deal, big deal, big deal. Man, I am shocked. I shocked beyond words as you can tell. But... Once again, thank you for watching this video.